Hello students, it's me, your science ma'am. How is everyone at home? I hope all are in fine health. Students, please stay home, stay safe. As we know about the epidemic, the uh, world is going through, so kindly take care of yourself and your family too. But during such situation also, we have to fight through and move on with education, right? So I will be explaining your lessons through my video clips. I'd like to begin your course with chapter 1, that is increasing plants in number. Alright, uh, we know all living things are born, they grow, they live for certain period of time and they even die. So for life to continue, living things produce and through uh, living things produce through a process called reproduction. Okay, this process is, uh, the definition of this is the process by which living things produce more of their own kind. Okay, so per, uh, whatever may, the living thing which is producing, it's producing, uh, it's producing uh, more which looks like itself. Like a tiger will produce its baby. Its baby will look like the mother. It will not look like a ca uh, cat or a dog. Okay, so it's own kind only. Alright, that is the process reproduction. But here we'll study only of plants. Okay, how plants uh, reproduce and the numbers are increased. Now, there are different means through which the plants reproduce. They are through seeds, through spores, through roots, through stems. Okay, so th uh, these are the different means through which the plants reproduce. First, we will study about reproduction through seeds. We know the flowering plants. What are flowering plants? Those plants that can bear flower. They are known as the flowering plants. Okay, for their growth, what do they require? They require air, water, warmth. These are the very important things which requires for its growth. Okay, under proper condition, a flower, it changes to fruits and the fruit, it contains seeds. Again, a seed can be grown into a new plant. So, for proper growth, a plant requires these things, right? Air, water and warmth. Now, all seeds cannot grow successfully into a plant because uh, there are certain uh, things because of which they cannot grow successfully into a plant that is few are not mature enough to grow okay some do not get un uh, some do not get all the favorable conditions like air water and warmth all the seeds do not get equally all these things so unfavorable due to unfavorable conditions they cannot grow some are eaten by birds and animals all right birds and animals they enter the field or they pick up the seeds and uh, because of that those uh, seed cannot grow into plant. So the, these are the different measures to which the seed cannot grow successfully into plants. Next topic is part of a seed. Okay, the main parts of seeds are embryo, seed leaf and seed coat. Okay, seed coat. What is seed coat? It's the outer covering of a seed and it's it protects the seed inside it. Okay, from different conditions. So this is the outer part of a seed. That is the seed coat next you have the seed leaf this area this is the seed leaf or even known as cotyledon it stores food for the embryo this one is the embryo is the innermost part of a seed and this part grows into a baby plant okay so this is these are the different parts of seed now there are uh, types having seed leaves that is monocotyledons and dicotyledons Okay, some seeds, they have only one seed leaf or one cotyledon that is known as the monocotyledon. And some have two seed leaves or two cotyledons. They are known as the dicotyledons. Next topic we'll see is dispersal of seed. What is dispersal of seed? The seeds, they are dispersed from the mother plant. Okay, that is known as the dispersal of seed. Now, overcrowding of seed, it would cause death okay of it so that the seeds uh, need to be dispersed that it can grow successfully and there are different means of dispersals they are wind through wind they get dispersed through water they get dispersed through animals and birds they get expo uh, i mean dispersed okay and through explosion also first let's see how through wind they get dispersed seeds uh, which are small and light in weight okay they get dispersed by the wind uh, they have hairs or wings which help them to float in the air like cotton seeds, poppy seeds, orchids. Okay, they are dispersed by the means of wind. Next is your water, dispersal by water. Seeds of plants that grow near water are dispersed through water. Okay, seeds are carried away with water till they get a fitting place uh, for their growth or for their 
germination okay example is cotton seeds um uh, sorry coconut palm water lily okay these are the these are dispersed through water next we'll see dispersal through animals and birds many birds eat fruits and drop the seeds here and there and wherever it is being dropped from there the seed will germinate some seeds are carried by the fur of animals to very far off place and some true uh, animal droppings uh, birds and animals you see when they eat the fruit the seed do not get digested so the seed when it comes out with a dropping okay it falls in different places from there also they can germinate all right and uh, animals like rats and squirrels they bury fruits in the ground but these then germinates to form new plants okay example like bur uh, berries bur these are few seeds which are dispersed through animals or birds next